Here we go back. This is the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. So we put our hands up like the ceiling can. What's going on, guys? It's Tommy. You're back with a brand new video. Hope y'all having a wonderful day. Um, also, Happy New Year's since it's the first day of 2020. So yeah, this <laughs> is probably the first Wii tutorial of this year. So yeah, um, a lot of you've been commenting on my other video on uh, how to fix the black screen on the USB loader in my menu of I on the Wii so yeah um since it helps some of you guys out and some of you still need help so yeah we're gonna I'm gonna make another update tutorial what is right here so yeah right now um the requirements are you need a Wii with an internet connection which is what I have right here um, alright, let's just, oh, whoops, not that, no, 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 internet, uh, connection settings, it's gonna show my, uh, name on here, so I have to, um, so yeah, you just scroll over, um, make sure that says yes, that says yes, that says don't use, and that says zero. Oh. Well, whatever. Because, uh, if you're using, uh, ReConnect24, you're gonna have to, um, like, put all those on yes, and then the proxy don't use, because then it's not gonna work. So, yeah. Another requirement is you're gonna need an SD card, uh, it doesn't really matter how many gigabytes it is, just, um, like, if you want to play games and stuff, well, that's the USB, but, like, it doesn't matter what gigabytes it is, it doesn't matter if it's 2 gigabytes, or 8, or 6, as long as you have an SD card. Um, now, what you're gonna wanna do is, um, that link in the description below, um, you're gonna have to go to your desktop, um, gonna have to install the d2x let me show you on my phone right here you're gonna have to um click that d2x installer on that website in the description below then you're gonna have to extract the installer and put it on the apps folder of your sd card then you can insert your sd card into the wii then launch the homebird channel So yeah, once you are here, um, don't worry about all these other things in the background. What you're gonna wanna focus on is the D2X installer. It's right there. You're gonna wanna click load. All right. So, um, this will just tell you what it's about and stuff. You can just click A to continue. All right, now. You're going to want to scroll up and down with the D-pad. And scroll left and right with the D-pad too. Alright, so... I'm going to have to copy the CIOS to... Well, right now it's on this, but scroll right two times. It's going to be on V10 Beta 52 D2X V10 Beta 52. Alright, and then the base is going to be 56. The slot is going to be 249, and then the revision is going to be 65535. Once you got that, you press. Make sure you have all of this. Then once you have all that, press A to continue. Once again, press A. So yeah, I'm going to cut the video short. Alright, once it's complete, it will show this screen. And you see the number 249, if it's green, that means it's a success. So now we just get the press A to continue, and um, we still have to set up some other ones.
like a few more and then um yeah so once that's installed gonna go back up the here that's still the same the bay i mean yeah the base is 57 the slot is 250 and the revision is the same thing, 6565535. So yeah, press A. Once again, press A. Once again, I'm going to cut the clip. Alright, once uh, that has complete, it'll bring you to this screen again. The number 250, if it shows green, that means it's good, it's a success. So now we have to do one more. Press A to continue. Scroll back up. The base is going to be 58. The slot is going to be 251, and that's going to be the same thing, 65535. So, yeah. So, yeah, we have to run it again. Press A, and then press A to continue again. Once again, I will cut the clip. Alright, so yeah, it'll bring you to this screen again. If the number 51, I mean 251, shows green, that means it's a success again. And once you have done all of that, you can press B to exit. It might take a few seconds. Yep, you press B to exit. Alright, then yeah, it'll bring you back to the homebrew menu. All you have to do is um, exit to the system menu. And yeah, it should be complete. You should now have um, D2X or custom firmware successfully installed on your Wii I'm just gonna check USB oh, I'm gonna check my menu to see if it works yeah also you should probably get preloader 2 in case you haven't you don't have it already oh yep and there you go see you have access to my menu file I'm just gonna exit But yeah, you should probably get Preloader 2, it's recommended, so in case your Wii ever breaks, you have a way to, um, recover it. And let's see if USB Loader works, too. Yup. USB loader works. There's all my games from my USB up there. Yep, works and everything. Let's just see if Mario Kart works. Let's just see if a game works. Yep, every game should work now. And yeah. Uh oh. So yeah, every game should work now. Also, yeah, this is just my uh, Wii Mafi of Mario Kart on here. So yeah, you can just exit to the system menu.
So now you have successfully installed um, the custom firmware, the D2X. So yeah, you can finally you can finally play USB games now, and you can go on My Menu Five, you can go on USB Loader, Wii Flow, whatever you have. Just make sure you have a um, uh, protection to recover in case a brick were to occur, like a uh, Git Preloader. But yeah, other than that, it's been Tommy. And yeah, hopefully y'all um, enjoyed the video. Hopefully this helped a lot of you. Certainly helped me. And yeah, if uh, in case you um, in case you didn't follow any steps of this video, you can always check down in the guide on that website down in the description below. Other than that, it's been Tommy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below. And peace out.